project officer at Cotswold Archaeology and I've been asked to put together a video diary documenting our excavations at Cannington and Somerset over the summer of 2014. Um, the, plan, the reason we're here is because there's a, a bypass which is planned around the village. This is the village of Cannington and that's the approximate route of the bypass coming around the western side. There's three excavation areas we're planning on to do. One is in the north, which is over behind me in that direction. One's at the central part of the strip, which is where we are now. And one's down in the south, which is over behind me there. And the background to the project really is that there was a planning application submitted, I don't know, about five or six years ago, at which stage there was a DPA carried out, a death-based assessment. Um, as part of that, they looked at the historic environment records, um, other archaeological investigations that have carried out around the site, and various other historic maps and that sort of thing, and established that there's quite a high likelihood of there being prehistoric and Roman remains on the site, and possibly some, some Saxon and medieval stuff as well. So, following on from the death space assessment, a geophysical survey was undertaken which identified a number of anomalies which may or may not have been of archaeological origin. So, following Physics, we then did some trial trenching and I think we put in about 50 trenches. This was about four years ago, which come all the way up the strip from that direction, sweeping down the hill over there. Um, the trial trenching established that there were indeed some significant archaeological remains on the site. Down the slope behind me, we believe there's a probable early Bronze Age enclosure. We haven't started stripping there in this part of the project as yet, but we will get down to there probably in a couple of months' time. We started in the central part of the, the site where we found walls during the evaluation. We're hoping they're Roman and that it may be a Roman farmstead, but at the moment we don't know. Could be post-medieval, could be medieval. And on the third area, which we're going down to in about a month, we're hoping there's a Saxon herd path, which is a kind of military road. So we've got a whole span of archaeology from early Bronze Age to Saxon to hopefully Roman. We've just died stripping in this area about two weeks ago. We are getting some of the water showing up, um, but we've found in the evaluation and some extra ones. It looks like there's some floors as well. So at the moment our hopes are quite high that it is going to be a Roman building, but as yet it remains a bit uncertain. Part of the problem we have is there's been some significant quarrying, possibly in the Roman period, possibly in the post-medieval period. Again, we're just trying to establish that. We've got a team of archaeologists on the site who've just started working, so hopefully in the next couple of days we'll have more idea. 